Don't allow your circumstances to define you. You must value yourself in order for your voice. G'day everyone. Well, it's a little bit of a different video again today. Uh, I've had a few dramas trying to get a video organized. So I'm actually here at work in a quiet room. Um, I've taken some time out of my lunch break to put uh, or record a video and it is um yeah just a little looks a little bit different uh, so it's very quiet in here you might be able to hear the aircon humming away but i wanted to stick to that promise of one video a week because it's so easy for the old me it's so easy for the old me to go you know what i'm just going to leave it till next week but i don't want to do that i made that uh, promise i made that promise to myself and so there's been a few times where I've haven't kept promises to myself far far more times than I'd like to count so here I am you got to just got to do what you got to do where you got to do it to be able to uh, stick to a stick to a promise so welcome I think this is video number four where we're adjusting as we go along here but that's okay I really appreciate your guys support I really do hope that these videos do bring value to you and they have an impact in a positive way uh, that's that's always my hope and my goal now I uh, am someone who has been a mentor for uh, quite a number of years and I um, have mentored young adults or young adult men in particular and I myself um, get mentored or um, and that that's sort of the, the common term uh, for for these days uh, but um, I, I really have connected in with someone that I do see as my spiritual father and he we have some really good chats about all you know all things spiritual and life and how I'm going and and am I looking after myself and all those sorts of things am I looking after the family and and most importantly how is my relationship with God and, and he really challenges me to be to be a better a better person and it's something I very very much appreciate um, he's a, he's an amazing man uh, has self-admitted that he has his own faults and his own things to deal with but he also believes in the power of bringing forward people that are uh, sort of bringing forward people that can be greater than he can and so he has a few spiritual sons um, and uh, for me I'm really honored to be a part of that but I bring that up because he sent me a message earlier this week that that really touched me I've got some notes here I'm just going to pop my head down um, and, and just read this message that he sent because it, it did touch me as I said and, and it's had me thinking for for quite a few days uh, and it's don't allow your circumstances to define you you must value yourself in order for your voice to carry value so I'll read that again don't allow your circumstances to define you you must value yourself in order for your voice to carry value and that really stuck out to me because it is something that i've struggled with over over my life is knowing that i have a voice knowing that it does carry value that that there are people willing to listen and willing um, to uh, hear what i have to say and really willing to uh, understand my point of view and um, I'm not always right, definitely not, um, and I've certainly said some really silly things, um, and I've probably said some unwise, well, definitely said some unwise things as well. I took that to mean that my circumstances don't dictate who I am, and your circumstances shouldn't dictate who you are. We all have a story and we all have a story to tell and this is my way of telling my story for our story to have impact we have to believe that our story brings value and we have to believe that we can bring value 
And so every day um, I'm waking up wanting to, to believe in a better Adam, believe in a stronger, wiser, uh, um, more character, more integrity Adam. One who is not defined by his past, not willing to go back to the old ways, and someone who is striving to be a better Adam, striving to be a better Adam for his wife, striving to be a better Adam for his kids, striving to be a better Adam for those around him. My hope this week is that when you wake up in the morning, you wake up believing that the day is going to bring a better you. Uh, you know, Psalm 139 verse 4 says, uh, sorry, Psalm 139 verse 14 says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works that my soul knows very well. Even if you get up in the morning, no matter what your past is, no matter what you've experienced, no matter what you're going through currently, if you just get up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, you know what, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and, 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 and have that as the basis for your day. So I just want to leave you with that, uh, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by a creator who thinks the world of you. And even if you don't think you have value and that your voice doesn't carry value, that he does. So I want to bless you guys in that. I want to bless you guys in the hope that um, this has impacted you in a positive way. And, uh, and, and my prayer is that uh, the God of the universe, the creator of the universe, will make himself real and known to you this week in, in only a way that you know how, whether that's in his word, whether that's in a conversation with someone, something you see on TV or hear on the radio or whatever, whatever way he can get to you, I pray that he does so that you truly believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. All right, guys, that's me. Bless you. We made it. We got to another video. Uh, I hope you have a really blessed week and I'll see you next week.